Hello! Welcome to my channel and a very special welcome if you are new here. My name is Steph and today we are talking all things Fly Lady cleaning routine. So I did originally film an intro when I started filming this video at the start of the week. It is Sunday and I filmed an intro but a lot has happened this week and I wanted to kind of redo it and explain a few things. So the whole point of this video was that I decided this week to try out the Fly Lady cleaning routine and specifically the Fly Lady cleaning routine app. They've just done a huge redo and redesign of the app and I personally think it's a lot more user friendly the design is just a lot more aesthetically pleasing but also it's a lot more customizable which i love so i was keen to try it out however <laughs> i hit tuesday and wednesday and i wasn't feeling super well so i didn't really do a lot on tuesday and wednesday and monday i was sort of still trying to get the hang of it so a lot of my experience with the fly lady app and the thoughts and things and the cleaning that you're going to see is more from thursday onwards but it has been a really good week. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm going to show you the footage from this week and then I'll pop back in at the end and share with you my thoughts and how I felt about the app, whether I'm going to continue using it, all of that kind of thing. So welcome to my week on Fly Lady. I have not checked in since I did the laundry. I still need to go and get that off the line and we are now kind of more into the evening portion of the day, but quick check-in. I am very tired. It's just before 6 p.m. I still have a bunch of work to do because I'm trying to like catch up on some things like YouTube videos. So because I'm feeling so tired and I don't know when my energy is going to just run out, I'm going to actually like get mostly ready for bed now. And then that way I can do some work, enjoy dinner, maybe watch a show with Matt, and all of this stuff I need to do is done so I can just get in bed. <laughs> so that's where we're at. As far as the checklist goes, I got all the morning stuff done. I've done about half of the afternoon things and none of the evening things so far, except check the weather for tomorrow. So <laughs> that's okay though. We're getting there and ultimately I think I'm liking it so far. This afternoon's just been a bit of a weird afternoon, so let's get ready for bed.
Hello, Tuesday check-in. I've done nothing today. <laughs> I did not sleep enough last night and I woke up feeling pretty average. So after a couple of little bits of work, I just kind of, I had a shower and I crashed. So I have the robo back going and that's about as good as it's get, getting today. Can't even talk properly. It's like 6.30 and I'm ready for tomorrow. So that's my Tuesday update. Happy Thursday! I don't even want to talk about Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> Basically, I wasn't feeling too well. Nothing serious. I think just the weather and the humidity that we've been experiencing was just really getting to my body and I needed a minute. But we're back on the Fly Lady train. It's Thursday. I completed my morning routine. It's now late afternoon and I'm going to start working on the decluttering step because I don't I haven't been doing it every day even when I have been completing the routines but I feel like the house needs it I'm viewing it as like we've got stuff on the coffee table we've got stuff on the dining table that's how I'm interpreting it it's probably like declutter a cupboard or something but I feel like I would run out of stuff to do for that pretty quickly anyway so my goal for the next hour or so because Matt is out at an appointment is to do some tidying and then try and tackle some of the stuff in the zone cleaning because I've really not been able to get to much of that yet this week. This week is kind of disappearing on me so let's get to it. in here so sorry about that we had some rain over us apparently but I'm just gonna wipe all of this down I think that needs emptying and go from there refill my little piece of paper towel that has oils on it to make it not smell because this is where the cats live <laughs>
definitely feels like cheating, but I have the Robovac come in here and I think it's done a fantastic job. This is my handy dandy duster. It's the Sabco brand. I'll pop a link to it below. I tried to find this in Coles and Woolies for ages and then I happened to be in Bunnings the other day and I thought to actually check, which I never think to check. And I found one, which is great because I really like things like this that you can just throw in the washing machine and be done with it. But I also really wanted to quickly talk about vacuums since we're in such a like cleaning topic of a video. We recently got a robot vacuum in the Black Friday sales last year now, which is crazy to think that it was that long ago already. But I had been wanting one for a while. I hadn't said anything to anyone, not even my husband, because I felt really ashamed, to be honest, that I wanted one because I'm a homemaker and that's my first priority and I should be able to get it done and all these things. But, you know, between health issues and having other things that I want to be using my time on as well, like some work and YouTube and content and all of that, and having two cats, that's honestly the biggest issue. I think if we didn't have the two cats, it would have been fine and I would have been totally able to manage things. But I currently run the robot vacuum every two days and that seems to be a good amount. I could run it almost every day depending on the week and depending on the season because they do shed more in certain seasons. But I'm running it every two days and I just could not get to the vacuuming every two days. It, was, it wasn't happening. But part of the reason I wanted to mention this is because I wanted to, I guess, share my experience with it now that we've had it almost two months, which is crazy. I looked at a lot of reviews. I wasn't originally out looking for a robot vacuum. I was looking for something else on the JB Hi-Fi website unrelated to Black Friday and realized it was Black Friday and saw this sale and got a bit curious. And I started looking into them. I was looking at reviews of this one and a couple that were just a little bit cheaper. This one was on a killer sale. But I was looking at the cheaper ones and most of the reviews were saying the actual like vacuum function all that was fine. But they really regretted not getting a robot vacuum with the mapping feature. So this one does have the mapping feature. It also mops. And the mapping feature has been so handy because it means I can block rooms off and it's really easy to block rooms off. It's easy to like move things around and it'll adjust. It's a super handy feature. If you're considering getting one, get one with a mapping feature. It's it's just been so, so good. Full transparency, didn't use my normal vacuum for a month. <laughs> and I finally went and used it. And honestly, it was probably over a month. I finally went and used it and it was day two so i run the robot vacuum every two days so on the second day instead of running that i just ran the normal vacuum and i didn't and i ran it on turbo as well on like the carpet areas and stuff and i didn't pick up anything really extra than what the robot vacuum normally would there was definitely a couple of little crevices and things i could get in with the crevice tool on the vacuum that the robot vacuum obviously can't get to but on the flip side of that the robot vacuum goes all the way under the bed. I normally wouldn't get to that, that kind of thing. So honestly, I'm so impressed with this vacuum, more impressed than I thought I was going to be, especially with the cleaning power of it. Like I mentioned, when I ran the normal vacuum, I was assuming, especially because I ran it on turbo mode, that I was going to get a lot more come up than I did. And it was like, a, it was clear that I had vacuumed or that the carpets and the floors had been vacuumed recently. It was very obvious. So anyway, that was a bit of a waffle. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to show you the robot vacuum we have. And then I'm going to get to dusting. Okay, so this is the robot vacuum that we purchased. It is the Ecovax D-Bot T8, I think. We love it. We named it Jarvis. I appreciate that it's a little bit pink on top. It's also quite aesthetically pleasing for a robot vacuum. And it does a really, really, really good job. Let me show you because I actually just ran it not long ago. So you still very much get carpet lines. It looks freshly vacuumed. And I don't know if you can see, but it leaves the carpet really, really nice and fluffy. It does such a thorough job at vacuuming. I'm 
<laughs> genuinely still shocked sometimes. Like, I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. So, highly recommend. Okay, so this is a project for today. Now, technically, this is the kitchen, but one of the zones that I am in at the moment is the bathroom, and that involves cleaning out the medicine cabinet. We have a bunch of medicine stuff up here, like supplements and things, so I would really like to sort all of this out, plus add our medicine tub with, like, medicine, medicine up here because I just think it would be a lot safer when we have friends kids over and things like I can barely reach this <laughs> um, and then I'm going to move all of these and put our cups and glasses here because currently they are over in this cupboard and it's just it's a bit of a pain especially because this is a corner so I can kind of get to here and there's always this kind of reaching sort of thing and I have no hope of reaching anything up there so I'm gonna move all of this stuff and I think I should be able to fit all of our glasses because we also have ooh, in this cupboard some glasses because <laughs> they didn't fit in the other cupboard by the way if you don't have a lazy Susan for all of your sauces and things you're missing out <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna, I think, pull all of these out, move the glasses. No, I should, I should focus. I should do the bathroom stuff first. I'm gonna go and sort, whoops, the medicine tub, which is currently in here. And I mean, more often than not, when we do need the medicine tub we're at in the kitchen anyway so it feels like a better spot for it oh gilbert it's not time for turtles <laughs> okay i'm not i'm not anticipating this being too bad so let's just get going and see what happens Okay, so I've brought this tub out here and added another box of Panadol and I've broken. I feel like we've opened every single one of these and put them down and forgotten where we put them and then bought more. So, Matt, if you're watching this, we have plenty of painkillers. <laughs> and I have gone through all of our supplements and I found this tub in my 
cupboard of decor stuff. And this is all the stuff that's still in date. So I have all of these <laughs> are expired and this big tub of fish oil. So, I mean, that's gonna clear the cabinet out. I just need to go through these, but yeah, feeling good. I'm very happy, nice and sorted. I'm going to put it all up in the cabinet now and I'm just real pumped. Saturday, which you will know by now because I have already filmed a bit today. I thought I would pop in here and clean the shower for Matt. He ended up working overtime today and I can't do all of the things that are on his list because I would collapse, but <laughs> I can at least do this one thing and I feel like that's a lot of what being a wife and a homemaker is about. And I think that's also what being a husband is about. He has sacrificed and gone to work on a Saturday for us, so I'm going to clean the shower <laughs> and clean the toilet and clean the bathroom, even though I hate bathrooms, which is fine. But I have to say, I'm obsessed with how my hair is looking. I've actually been on a no heat challenge for January and I've been really working on my hair health with some new products over the last year or so but I was really scared to do a no heat challenge and actually like try and embrace the natural curls. You should see how it looked. Actually, if you've seen my Weight Watchers meal prep video, the talking portion in there was filmed two or three weeks before today. <laughs> and you'll be able to see how flat my hair was. There was no shape to the curls. It's looking so good. Um, it's just so nice to be able to just air dry my hair and know it's gonna be fine. But anyway, let's get to cleaning. week it was <laughs> so today is Sunday like I mentioned at the start of the video and I've still been doing a little bit of fly lady things today you would have actually just seen a little bit of footage of me mopping because that was one of my final uh, weekly blessing tasks that I had left to do and the floors really needed a mop so I'm very glad I did it I'm honestly I'm kind of surprised <laughs> how this week has gone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly just go over each part of the Fly Lady system that I at least interacted with and just kind of chat through what I liked, what I didn't like, all that kind of thing. First off, the daily routines. There are morning, afternoon, and evening routines. What got me to actually try Fly Lady again was looking at the routines and kind of going, okay, well, I'm doing a decent half to three quarters of this already now. So I think adding in these little extra pieces would be really good. And it definitely was. I would say I'm still getting used to 
the system, used to the routines. I find that the swoosh and swipe and the emptying the dish or tidying up the dishes in the morning thing is, they're the two things in the morning that I'm finding that I'm having to adjust to. They're not hard, it's just not things that I normally do in the morning. We actually only just got a dishwasher this week in the last like day or two. So <laughs> I, for the rest of the week, just started um, putting away the dry dishes that had been drying in the dish rack overnight. And that actually made a really big difference to the kitchen in general. But now we do actually have a dishwasher. We got a bench top dishwasher. It was a very generous gift that we were given and it is amazing already. For the last year, we've officially been in this house a year now. We've been hand washing our dishes and honestly not loving it. <laughs> we had gotten very used to having a dishwasher. So all of that to say, we have a dishwasher now, so it's gonna be even more of an important habit, I think, because it is quite a small dishwasher. It's totally fine for the two of us, but we do still need to keep up the habit of emptying it in the morning and that kind of thing, so. Anyway, the afternoon routine featured decluttering for 15 minutes and I'm not really sure whether that was meant to be like you go and declutter a cupboard or something like that. I feel like I don't have that much to declutter. That being said, I definitely have more to declutter than I realized, but I don't know if I would be able to keep doing that every 15, every day for 15 minutes. So to me, I'm also interpreting that as, you know, if there's things on the dining table, because it tends to be a bit of a dumping ground. If there's things in the living room, like doing like a spot tidy, that's how I'm also interpreting that. And I'd say the evening routine was a little bit not 100% suited to our lifestyle at the moment. We don't really find that we need to like take a lot with us. So having the launch pad, for example, was a bit, I don't really know if that's something we need to focus on. All of that to say, the routines have actually really gotten me thinking in a really positive way. And when there's been days that I haven't gotten everything completed, I think that's completely fine because even just being more aware of what needs to be done and being more aware of what I can be doing if I find myself with a free moment or if I find that I'm just wanting to get up and move around a little bit, having some guidance on that and some things to kind of tick off without having to do the mental effort has been really nice. I've been really enjoying that. So daily routine wise, definitely going to be continuing using the app, I think. So onto the next phase of the app and that is the zone cleaning. Now, the first thing that springs to mind regarding the zones is, wow, I don't know if I could continue to do all of these tasks in each zone every time the zone comes up. So the zones actually just changed over today on my app. I'm not sure if that happens with everyone. I'm assuming it does. But this coming week, one of the zones is the master bedroom and it says to declutter some books from your bookshelf. Now for me, that's not where our bookshelf is. So that automatically is a task that I should probably go on there and uh, move to the office zone, which was this past week. But at the same time, it looks like these zones are gonna come up every, I'd say every two to three weeks from what I can tell. And I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to declutter books every single time. So in that regard i question whether it's worth having that item on the zone for example and there were some other items like it where i'm kind of just wondering whether it will work because there's definitely going to be some weeks where i just tick it off because it doesn't need doing and my concern is knowing my personality that after a couple of times of doing that i might just start ticking it off without thinking about it so I don't know, but at the same time, I am aware that I have that tendency and, you know, and I, I want to work on that. So at the same time, it could just be something that I just need to keep in mind. But ultimately, so the zones that we had this week, let me, let me think. We had the office, the main bathroom, the laundry, and the extra bedroom. So the extra bedroom is actually Matt's office as well. So I didn't really do much in there because it's his his room, his stuff, all that kind of thing. And I know he doesn't love it when I go in there and like tidy up. He, 
Not that he's bothered by it, he would just prefer to do it himself or have it the way that it is and I personally don't really mind. We are not in the space of being able to have guests at the moment with everything that's happening in the world right now. The people that we would have as guests are just not able to travel to us so it's mostly just Matt's office at the moment. It has a fold-out couch in it rather than a bed so it's very much of office vibe at the moment. So that zone didn't really happen. The other zones, I'm actually really pleased I managed to get through them from, I think, mostly just Thursday onwards. There was a couple of tasks that I ticked off that didn't need doing or that just weren't something that I was really prioritizing. So, for example, I didn't clean the windows in the office. But for the most part, it was really good because cleaning the laundry, for example, I'd actually been meaning to wipe down the machine, wipe down the lid, the inside of the lid, all that kind of thing. It was actually starting to really bother me. And I just kept not getting to it and putting it off. And so having this like deadline to, to meet, I was really pleased with how I personally handled it. It was a it was a good motivating factor. It was a good inspiration, but it also wasn't something that I let like get get to me you know what i mean like i tried my best to complete all the zones and if i didn't complete them i was okay and so not completing the extra bedroom one and having that like show up as not completed that didn't really bother me i surprisingly did actually get through all the other zones even though i wasn't feeling super well and it actually surprisingly also inspired me to do some of some decluttering and reorganizing in the kitchen which was great because i had to do the medicine um, the medicine tub from the bathroom and I had been meaning to move the tub and reorganize some cabinets in the kitchen to do that so it was really good like it was actually really good I feel really surprised at how good it was to be completely honest so that's the zones I'm definitely keen to keep going and get through all of the zones over the next few weeks and then really evaluate how I feel about it. And finally, the last part of the app or the routine is the weekly home blessing. So for me, I thought that was a great idea. It's very much the basics, I think, dust, vacuum, mop. I personally didn't vacuum because we have a robot vacuum that goes through the house and I run it every two days. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, I think um, it does a fantastic job, very much comparable to a normal vacuum. So I did not feel the need to vacuum myself, but I did run the vacuum this morning before I mopped because I like to vacuum before mopping. And yeah, it just, it was really nice again to have that, that sort of like accountability and checklist because sometimes if you hold things just in your mind and in your brain you don't necessarily get to everything because you think you've gotten to it already or whatever the case may be and I think with like mopping that's definitely something that I find as well I think that I've done it more recently than I actually have so having that item on the checklist to do every single week I really appreciate that and yeah that's that's basically been my experience. I think I was naively expecting that I would struggle with it again because I've struggled with it previously, but I am in a very different place than I was even six months ago. And I'm really, really proud of that. And it was just really nice to have this further illustration of how far I've come in my self-development as a person. You know, it's always nice to be able to see your growth and notice your growth. So I've been talking for a very long time, so I'm going to stop, but that's been my experience. I would love to hear if you've tried the Fly Lady app. I did post on my Instagram stories that I was giving it a go and put a little poll up to see whether people had tried it. And I think some people have, some people haven't. So I'd love to hear your experience with it in the comments below. Let me know if you like it, what parts you like, what parts maybe you don't like. And if you've been doing it for a while and you have any tips or there's anything else that's Fly Lady related that I should look into, I would really appreciate that because I think she's got a whole website and emails and all that kind of thing that I haven't really looked at. I've only really looked at the app. so. And even then, I've only really looked at the routines and not like the blog posts and articles and things. So 
If you have any fly lady tips, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button before you leave. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for me. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.